So here we're back at uh, back in the North Pacific Ocean, Ocean Shores here, and we've got a it's rainy, rainy all night, rainy this morning. We got some nice bulk help that washed up, maybe last night, maybe with the high tide. So this is some of the biggest stuff we've seen here so far. Kind of the grizzly bear of the kelp world. Got that nice floater pneumaticist here. And just these cords. I mean, this this is incredible material. It's thick. And it washed up with a nice mat of all kinds of other, other species of multicellular algae. And that's what we've got going here. And some of this is very, very grass-like. I'm wondering if we do actually have some true plants here that came up with the kelp. I'll be posting the names of all of this stuff with this video because my my um, kelp identification skills are still still getting off the, the starting gate here. But we've got a lot of wonderful features. Those leafy blades, it's really kind of slimy and almost plasticky feeling. Look at the size of that though. It's a large, large creature. Super important part of this rocky typically rocky coast ecosystem but it must have broken off and washed up here on the sandy beach looking for other bits and pieces we got at least several species of kelp and some barnacles mixed in here let's maybe take a close close-up look at one of these these bladders they're hard it's really hard you can puncture one maybe see what's completely hollow puncture that look in the inside that's simply to provide buoyancy so the kelp stays suspended vertically in the water and that's how you get these kelp forests taking shape it's remarkable stuff these these blades are a lot thinner and a lot smoother and you can... okay some other neat features here too a quick look at before I got to go another type of this is almost looks like part of the hold fast here that secures itself to the hard substrate. All right, guys, we'll try this again another time. You need part of the strand.